I didn't have enough ways to cook frozen pizzas, so I went ahead and got a granite stone paisano countertop pizza maker, and I'm going to try it for the first time cooking a frozen pizza. So here it is. Let me just go over everything that came in the box. Uh, you've got your instructions, which of course we don't need. Got your pizza cooker. Got your real ceramic stone. Uh, it's not a fake ceramic stone. It does say it's a real one. And it also comes with a scraper to uh, clean your uh, real ceramic stone. And it comes with these wooden, what they call pizza peels. So you can actually make your pizza on these and then you can transfer it to your real ceramic stone or take it off your real ceramic stone without burning yourself because um, this thing is cooking your pizza at 800 degrees. Uh, you know, which if you paid attention in astrology is about the temperature of the sun, so you definitely need to be careful. And uh, I've not used this yet, but what we're going to do is we're going to actually try to cook a frozen pizza. So first thing that we need to do is preheat this to 800 degrees, which um, it says it takes about 10 minutes. So we're going to go ahead and just uh, set our dials here to 800 on our top and bottom. So we got top, bottom temperature, so you can cook at different temperatures on the top and the bottom. I guess if you uh, wanted to, I don't know why you need to do that. But now we're going to just let it preheat for roughly 10 minutes until our temperature gauge gets to between 7 and 800 degrees. All right, it took about exactly 10 minutes to hit 800 degrees. Meantime, we've got our great value Walmart Supreme Rising Crust Pizza ready to go on the pizza peels. So we're going to be carefully, I guess, open our oven, get the lid where it's not going to fall back on my hand, I hope. It has to actually click open to hold, I guess. And we're going to go ahead and uh, try to get around the camera here, get the pizza peels, and get our pizza on our pizza stone here. Again, without burning myself around the camera. So there's our frozen pizza. Go ahead and close it. And uh, we're gonna we're gonna set a timer for 10 minutes, and uh, see I'm sorry for five minutes, and see uh, how it turns out. <laughs> set timer for five minutes. Five minutes starting now. A stop timer so there's five minutes here i'm watching it through the window to me it doesn't look quite done so i'm gonna let it go maybe another minute something else i noticed too while it's cooking is uh the temperature actually dropped down to like 600 degrees while it's actually cooking and the bottom heating element actually turned off it just turned back on a second ago but we'll check back here in about another 60 seconds All right, so there's another minute here. Let's go ahead and uh, take it off, cut it open, and see uh, see how we did. So it says to turn that off, and it says be real careful releasing steam. Oh, wow, the crust rose and everything. It actually looks uh, pretty good. Maybe I didn't need that extra minute after all. And uh, I guess you use the pizza peels to get it off. Be uh, careful here. And there's our pizza. Uh, it, it actually looks pretty good. It smells pretty good. Uh, maybe overcooked it slightly. I probably didn't need another minute here, but let's cut it open and see how it looks here. All right, so it doesn't feel crispy at all. Cheese melted. Uh, dough is cooked a little bit here. All right, well, it tastes okay. I think it maybe could have cooked <laughs> maybe another minute, crisp it up a little bit. That's my first time cooking frozen pizza on it. Um, so uh, I guess maybe I'll try another video uh, cooking it from scratch. Uh, I think that's really uh, going to wrap this video. If you have any questions or comments, uh, put them in the comments. And just remember, if you're going to be mean, at least be funny. And until the next time, we'll talk to everybody later.